AA brain and black hole same. Now I will prove this. AA and brain are same. Artificial brain. An artificial brain is soft and hardware with cognitive abilities similar to those of the animal or human brain. Research investigating artificial brains and brain emulation play three important roles in science. An ongoing attempt by neuroscientists to understand how the human brain works, known as cognitive neuroscience. A sole experiment in the philosophy of artificial intelligence demonstrating that it is possible, at least in theory, to create a machine that has all the capabilities of a human being. A long-term project to create machines exhibiting behavior comparable to those of animals with complex central nervous system such as murderers and most of these particularly humans. The ultimate goal of creating a machine exhibiting human-like behavior or intelligence is sometimes called strong AI. An example of the first objective is the project reported by Aston University in Birmingham, England, where researchers are using biological cells to create neural spheres. In order to develop new treatments for diseases including Alzheimer's, autoneuron, and Parkinson's disease. The second objective is a reply to arguments such as John Scherf Chinese room argument. Uh, these critics argue that there are aspects of human consciousness or expertise that cannot be stimulated by machines. One reply to their argument is that the biological processes inside the brain can be simulated to any degree of accuracy. This reply was made as early as 1950 by Alan Turing in his classic paper Computing Machinery and Intelligence. The third objective is generally called Artificial General Intelligence by researchers. However, Ray Kurzweil prefers the term strong AI in his book The Similarities Near, he focuses on whole brain emulation using conventional computing machines as an approach to implementing artificial brains and claims that this could be done by 2025. Mark Markham, director of the Blue Brain Project, made a similar claim at Oxford TAD. Approaches to brain simulation Although direct human brain emulation using artificial neural networks or the high-performance computing engine is a commonly discussed approach, there are other approaches. An auto alternative artificial brain implementation could be based on holographic neural technology, non-linear phase coherence decoherence principles. The analogy has been made to quantum processes through the core safety algorithm which has strong similarities to a quantum mechanical wave equation. As a form of evolutionary software that can evolve brain-like neural networks such as the networks immediately behind the retina. In November 2008, IBM received this one grant from the Pentagon for research into creating intelligent computers. The Blue Brain project has been conducted with the assistance of IBM in Luzon. The project is based on the premise that it is possible to artificially link the neurons in the computer by placing 30 million synapses in their proper three-dimensional position. Some proponents of strong AI speculated in 2009 that computers in connection with blue brain and soul catchers may exceed human intellectual capacity by around 2050, and that this is Likely that we will be able to download the human brain at some time around 2015. While Blue Brain is able to represent complex neural connections on a large scale, the project does not achieve the link between brain activity and behaviors executed by the brain. In 2012, Project Spawn uh, attempted to model multiple parts of the uh, human brains through large-scale representations of neural connections that connect, generate complex behaviors in addition to mapping. Spons design create elements of human brain anatomy, the model 
consisting of approximately 2.5 million euros, includes features of the visual and motor for cortices, the ventral tegmental area, substantia, <coughs> the design allows. <coughs> allows for several functions in response to eight text using visual input of typed or handwritten characters and output carried out by mechanical arm. Spawn's functions include copying and drawing, recognizing images, and counting. There are good reasons to believe that, regardless of implementation strategy, the predictions of realizing artificial brains in the near future are optimized. And popular brains and cognition are not currently well understood, and scale of computation required is unknown. Another near-term limitation is that our current approaches for brain simulation require others of magnitude to large power consumption compared with the human brain. The human brain consumes about 20 watts of power, whereas current supercomputers may use as much as 1 megawatt. Artificial neural networks are connection systems are computing systems for vaguely inspired by the biological neural networks that constitute the animal brains. Such systems learn to perform tests by constraint user generally without being programmed with task-specific rules for the in image recognition. They might learn to identify images that certain catch by analyzing example images that have a manual level as cat or no cat and using the result to identify cat in other images. They do this without any prior knowledge of cat, for example, that they have four tests with the food and color faces. Instead, they automatically generate identifying characteristics from the input that they process. ANN is based on a collection of connected usage or knowledge called artificial neurons, which loosely model the neurons in a biological brain. Each connection like the synapses in a biological brain can transmit a signal to other neurons. An artificial neuron that receives a signal that processes it and can signal neurons connected to it. In ANS implementations, the signal and the connection is a real number. And the output of each neuron is computed by the non-linear function of the sum of each input. The connections are called edges. Neurons and edges typically weigh a way that adjust as a learning procedure. The weight increases or decreases the strength of the signal and the connection. Neurons may have a threshold such that the signal is sent only if the only threshold. Typically, neurons are aggregated into layers. Different layers may perform different transformations on their input. Signals travel from the first layer to the last layer, possibly after traveling the layers multiple times. The original goal of the ANN approach was to solve problems in the same way that a human brain would However, a time attention moved to performing specific tasks leading to deviations from biology. ANS have been used on a variety of tasks, including computer vision, speech recognition, machine translation, social network filtering, playing board, and video games, medical diagnosis, and even in activities that have traditionally been considered as reserved to humans like painting. Models. ANS began as an attempt to exploit the architecture of the human brain to perform tasks that conventional algorithms had little success with. They soon reoriented toward improving empirical results, mostly abandoning attempts to remain true to their biological precursors. Neurons are connected to each other in various patterns to allow the output of some neurons to become the output of uh, to others. The network forms a directed weighted graph. An artificial neural network consists of a collection of stimulated neurons. Each neuron is a node 
which is connected to other nodes via links. It corresponds to biological axle snaps and drive connections. Each link has a weight which determines the strength of one node influence to another. Components of ANS Neurons, connections, and weight propagation function. ANS are composed of artificial neurons which retain the biological concept of neurons which receive input. Combine the input with their internal state and an optional threshold using an activation function and produce output using an output function. The initial inputs are extremer external data such as images and documents. The ultimate output accomplish the task such as recognizing an object in an image. The important characteristic of the activation function is that it provides a smooth Differentiable transitions as input values change. A small change in input produces a small change in output. Connections and weight, the network consists of connections, each connection providing the output of one neuron as an input to another neuron. Each connection is assigned a weight that represents its relative importance. A given neuron can have multiple input and output connections. The propagation function computes the input to a neuron from the output of each predicted neurons and their connections as a way to serve. A bias term can be added to the result of the propagation. Organization The neurons are typically organized into multiple layers, especially in deep learning. Neurons of one layer connects only to neurons of the immediately preceding and immediate following layers. The layer that receives external data is the input layer. The layer that produces the ultimate result is the output layer. And between them are zero or more hidden layers. Single layer and the unlayered networks are also used. Between two layers, multiple connection patterns are possible. They can be fully connected with each every neuron in one layer, connecting to every neuron the next layer. They can be poorly where a group of neurons in one layer connect to a single neuron in the next layer, thereby reducing the number of neurons in that layer. Neurons with only such connections form a directed asymptotic graph and are known as feed forward networks. Alternately, networks that allow connections between neurons in the same or previous layers are known as recurrent networks. Hyperparameter. Hyperparameter is a constant parameter whose value is set before the learning process begins. The values of parameters are derived via learning. Examples of hyperparameters include learning rate, the number of hidden layers, and batch size. The values of some hyperparameters can be dependent on those of other hyperparameters. For example, the size of some layers can depend on the overall number of layers. Learning. Learning is the adaptation of the network to better handle a task by considering sample observations. Learning involves adjusting the weight of the network to improve the accuracy of the result. This is done by minimizing the observed errors. Learning is complete when examining additional observations does not usefully reduce the error. Error rate. Even after learning, the error rate typically does not reach zero. If after learning, the error rate is too high, the network typically must be rejigned. Practically, this is done by defining a cost function that is evaluated periodically the learning. As long as the output continues to decline, learning continues. The cost is frequently defined as a statistic whose value can only be approximated. The outputs are actually numbers, so when the error is low, the difference between the output and the correct answer is small. Learning attempts to reduce the total of the differences across the observations. Most learning models can be viewed as a straightforward application of optimization theory and statistical estimation. Learning rate defines the size of the collective steps and then the model test to adjust for errors in each observation. 
The high learning rate shortens the training time but with lower base accuracy while a lower learning rate takes longer but is the potential for greater accuracy. Optimizations such as quick pop are primarily aimed at speeding up error minimization, while other improvements mainly try to increase reliability in order to uh, avoid oscillation inside the network such as alternating connection rate and to improve the rate of convergence, refinement use of adaptive learning rate that increases or decreases as appropriate. The concept of momentum allows the balance between the gradient and the previous change to be weighted such that the weight adjustment depends to some degree on the previous change. A momentum close to zero emphasizes the gradient, while a value close to one emphasizes the last change. Cost function, while it is possible to define a cost function ad hoc, frequently the choice is determined by the function's desirable properties, or because it arises from the model. Back Propagation is a method to adjust the connection weight to compensate for each error found during learning. The error amount is effectively divided among the connections. Technically, backprop calculates the gradient of the cost function associated with the given state with respect to the weight. The weight update can be done via stochastic gradient descent or other methods such as extreme learning machines, no prop networks, training without backtracking, weightless networks, and non-connectionality neural networks. Theoretical properties Computational power The multilayer perception is a universal function approximator. As proven by the universal approximation theorem, However, the proof is not constructive regarding the number of neurons required. The network topology, the weight and the learning parameters are specific recurrent architecture with rational value weight. Has the power of universal Turing machine using a finite number of neurons and standard linear connections. Further, the use of irrational values for weight result in a machine with spurturing power. Capacity, a model's capacity property roughly corresponds to its ability to model at a given function. It is related to the amount of information that can be stored in the network and to the notion of complexity. Convergence, models may not consistently converge on a single solution, firstly because local minima may exist depending on the cost function in the model. Secondly, the optimization method uh, used might not guarantee to converge when it begins far from any local minimum. Suddenly, for sufficiently large data or parameters, some methods become impractical. Convergence behavior of certain types of ANN architectures are more understood than others, such as when the width of networks approaches to infinity the ANN resembles linear model. Just such ANN follows the convergence behavior of linear model. Also, another example is when parameters are small. It is observed that ANN often fetch target functions from low to high frequencies. Such phenomenon as an opposite to the behavior of some well-studied iterative numerical schemas such as Jacob method. Generalization statistics. Application whose goal is to create a system that generalizes well to a simple example. Face the possibility of overtraining, this arises in convoluted or ever overspecified system when the network's capacity significantly exceeds the needed free parameters. Two approaches uh, addressing overtraining. The first is to use cross-validation and similar techniques to check for the presence of overtraining and to select hyperparameters to minimize the generalization error. The second is to use some form of regularization. This concept emerges in a probabilistic framework where regularization can be performed by selecting a larger prior 
Pliability of a Simple Models. But also in statistical learning theory, the goal is to minimize over two cognitive the empirical risk and the structural risk, which roughly correspond to the error over the training set and the greater error in unseen data due to overfitting. Supervised neural networks that use a mean square error most cost function can use formal statistical methods to determine the confidence of the trained model. The MSE or the validation set can be used as an estimate for variance. This value can then be used to calculate the confidence interval of network output. Assuming a normal distribution, a confidence analysis made this way is statistically valid as long as the output probability distribution stays the same and the network is not modified. As assigning a softmax activation function, a generalization of the logistic function on the output layer of the neural network for categorical target variables. The outputs can be interpreted as posterior probabilities. It is useful in classification as it gives a certainty measure of classification. The softmax activation function is this. Network design. Neural architecture search uses machine learning to automate AN design. Various approaches to NAS have designed networks that compare well with hand designed systems. The basic search algorithm is to propose a candidate model, evaluate it against a data set, and use the result as feedback to teach the NAS network available systems include AutoML and AutoTerras. Design issues include deciding the number, type, and connectedness of network layers, as well as the size of each and the connection type. <coughs> Hyperparameters must also be defined as part of the design. Governing methods such as how many neurons are in each layer, learning rate, step, stride, depth, receptive field, and padding. Applications because of their ability to reproduce and model nonlinear processes, artificial neural networks have found applications in many of disciplines. Application areas include system identification and control, quantum chemistry, general gameplay, pattern recognition, medical diagnosis, finance, data mining, visualization, Machine translation, social network filtering, and email spam filtering, ANS have been used to diagnose cancers, including lung cancer, prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, and to distinguish highly invasive cancer cell lines from less invasive lines using only cell-shaped information. ANS have been used to accelerate the reliability and analysis of infrastructure subject to natural digesters. And to predict foundation settlement, ANS have also been used for building black box models in geoscience, hydrology, ocean modeling, and coastal engineering, and geomorphology. ANS have been employed in cybersecurity with the objective to discriminate between legitimate activities and malicious ones. For example, machine learning has been used for classifying Android malware for identifying domains belonging to threat actors and for detecting URLs posing a security risk. Research is underway on ANS systems designed for penetration testing for detecting botnets, credit card fraud, and network intrusions. ANS have been proposed as a tool to simulate the properties of many body open quantum systems. In brain research, ANS have studied short-term behavior of individual neurons. The dynamics of neural circuitry arise from interactions between individual neurons and how behavior can arise from extra neural modules 
that represent complex subsystems. Studies consider long and short term plasticity of neural system and the relation to learning and memory from the individual neuron to the gallery. A simply a feed-forward artificial neural network errors originating from X2 are omitted for clarity. There are pre-inputs to this network and Q outputs in the system. The values of the Q's output YQ would be calculated as YQ is like this. A two-layer feed-forward artificial neural network, an artificial neural network, an ANN dependence graph, a single set layer. Feed for artificial neural network with four inputs, six hidden and two output. Given position, state, and direction output, wheel based control values. A two layer feed for artificial neural network with eight inputs, two by eight hidden and two output. Given position, state, direction, and other environment values, output thruster based control values. Parallel pipeline structure of CMAC neural network. This learning algorithm can converge in one step. Our same. Comparison of black hole and brain. Similarity of information absorption. Do you know movie Edge of Tomorrow? In this movie, brain of alien is same as black hole, so alien have, can have time travel. Is this possible? Yes, this is the main topic of this lecture. Because brain and black hole are in almost same, and I will prove it in this lecture. This is a brain which has a limbic system, brainstem, and cerebellum. In this lecture, cerebellum and limbic system are main topic. This is a black hole which is made of photosphere, relativistic jet, event horizon, accretion disk, and singularity. Black hole has time repeat, and that is why in that movie, Alien has time repeat. And the time repeat is shown in the following picture. Dog is an event on the surface of black hole, and as it gets into singularity, it repeats each action. Uh, in this membrane of black hole, the wave has tied, so the time repeat happens like this. Now I prove brain and black hole are same because they use the same mechanism when they store information. First, let's compare the figure of black hole and brain. The figure of brain black hole is sphere and surface topology of black hole is S3. As CFT, the surface of black hole has S4 structure, black hole can have a sphere topology. And the spatial topology of black hole is S3, time and spatial topology of black hole is R multiplied by S3, which is same as S4. Now we will see figure of brain. Figure of brain is sphere and a surface topology of brain is S3. And embryology. Brain begins as a ball shape, which has same topology with sphere. So figure of brain is sphere. As a pre-study, brain has topology of S3, so time partial topology as brain is R multiplied by S3. Now let's compare brain and black hole brain information storage. Our first black hole stores information of particles near black hole now it, and it stores information on the surface only a bit and black hole uses gravity to transfer the information. Black hole stores information like this picture. Uh, brain stores sensory information near it and it stores information in a cortex and brain uses action potential to transfer information. This is how visual information is stored in brain, and this is how auditory information is stored in brain, and this is how taste information is stored in brain, this is how olfactory information is stored in brain, this is how sensory information is stored in brain. Now let's see the network in black hole and brain. The network of black hole happens inside the black hole. The network region connecting two anchor points of surface is similar point region. In black hole, strings connecting two regions of surface is a structure transferring the network. So as more heavy particles get into black hole, the network becomes stronger. This is a network in black hole. The network of particles in black hole can be shown as phi gram. And as the particles get farther, the network should be stronger and close to similarity. 
In brain, network happens in white matter and the network region connecting two acre points on surface is corpus callosum and telecommissure, commissure minor, process minor and major, which connect two hemispheres of brain. And the structure transferring network is commissure fibers and association fiber, which are fiber structure connecting two regions of surface and locate in white matter like string. Connectome is a structure connecting two regions of cortex and it is for a network of information. There's a short association fibers where short range of network happens. This shows long range networks which cross the middle point of brain corpus callosum. This is the discussion. Now I will explain this. So as a conclusion, I showed the brain and black hole have the same structure for information strategy. And now I compare every structure for information strategy. The figure of black hole's brain is sphere. The topology of surface is S3 for brain and black hole. And the spatial temporal topology of black hole and brain is R multiplied by S3, which is S4. And information stored in the black hole and brain is the information near them and information is stored in the surface of black hole brain and network happens inside black hole brain and networks between two hemispheres cross uh, center of black hole and brain and brain and black hole use specific power to transfer information and the structure to transfer two network the two transfer network is two strings and fibers in black hole brain there is a precedent research. Uh, there are many good pre studies about comparison between brain and black hole. First, black hole as brains. Black hole as brains, neural network between with area low entropy. In these papers, information storage of black hole and brain use same spin network. A new spin on the quantum brain. In these papers, Brain network is same as black hole network because spin network using calcium in brain is same as spin network between quirky and anti in black hole. And brain uses same mechanism for information storage. This is uh, Matthew Fisher uh, who proved the quantum processing in the brain. Uh, since Umezo studied quantum effect of brain in 1967, there has so many research been done. This is the research. Okay, thank you, my friend. Uh, this is Black Hole Mathematica. AI and Black Hole same. What I need to talk to you about today is the homeo-holographic principle and how it provides explanation to deep learning. The holographic principle is a theory um, that explains how quantum theory and gravity interact to construct the reality that we are in. The motivations for this theory comes from the paradox that Hawking created when he theorized that black holes would emanate Energy. The fundamental concept that had been violated by Hawking theories was that information was destroyed. As a consequence of this paradox, through several decades of research and experimentation, physicists have brought forth a unified theory of the universe that is based on information theoretic principles. The entire universe is a projection of a hologram. It is entirely fascinating that the error of time and the existence gravity are but mere manifestations of information entanglement. Now you may be mistaken to think that this holographic principle is just a fringe an idea from physics. It appears at first to be, to be quite a wild idea. Apparently though, the theory rests on a very solely experimental and theoretical underpinnings. Let's just say that Stephen Hawking, who first remarked that it was rubbish, has finally agreed to its conclusions. So at this time, it should be relatively safe to start deriving some additional theories of this principle. One surprising consequence of this theory is that the hologram is able to capture the dynamics of the universe that has a, the order of d to the n degrees of freedom. One would think that the hologram would be 
of equified but it is not. It is a surface area it is proportional to n square. This begs the question. How is the structure of order n square able to capture the dynamics of the system in the end? In the meantime, deep learning coincidentally has a similar mapping problem. Researchers don't know how it is possible for DL to perform so impressively when considering the problem. The means search space has an exceedingly high dimension, so max tag mark and only linear power have volunteered their explanation. Why does deep and cheap learning work so well? In their paper, they argue the following. Although well known mathematical theorems guarantee that neural networks can approximate arbitrary functions well, the class of functions of practical interest can be approximated through cheap learning with exponentially fewer parameters than generic ones. Because they have simplifying properties tracing back to the laws of physics, the exceptional simplicity of physics based on functions hinges on properties such as symmetry, locality, compositionality, and polynomial law probability, and explore how these properties translate into exceptionally simple neural networks propagating both natural phenomena such as images and abstract representation thereof such as drawings. The authors bring up several promising ideas like the no flattening theorem as well as the use of information theory and the renormalization group as explanations for their conjecture. I however was not sufficiently convinced by their argument. The argument assumes that all problem data follows natural laws, but as we all know that DA can be effective in the unnatural domain C, identifying cars, driving, creating music, and playing Go as trivial examples of clearly an unnatural domain. To be fair, I think that they were definitely to something, and that's something I discuss in more detail. In this article, I made a bold Proposal is an argument that is somewhat analogous to what Tegmark early proposed. Deep learning works so well because of physics. However, the genesis of my idea is that DL works because it uses the leverages the same computational mechanisms underlying the holographic principle, specifically the capability of representing an extremely high dimensional space with a paltry number of parameters. Of Order and scale. The computational mechanism underpinning holographic principle can be most easily depicted through the use of tensor networks. Tensor network notation is as follows. The value of tensor networks in physics is that they are used to drastically reduce the state space into the network that focuses only on the relevant physics. The primary motivation behind the use of tensor networks is to reduce computation. The tensor network is a way to perform computation in a high dimensional space by decomposing a large tensor into smaller, more manageable parts. The computation can then be performed with smaller parts at a time. By optimizing each part, one effectively optimizes the full larger tensor. In the context of the holographic principle, the meta tensor is used and it is depicted as follows. In the most, the circles depict these entanglers and the triangles isometries. One can look at the doge from the perspective of a mapping. That is, the circles map matrices to other matrices. The triangles make a matrix and map into a vector. The key node here is to realize that the compression capability arises from the hierarchy and entanglement. As a matter of fact, this network embodies the mutual information chain rule. In other words, uh, as you move from the bottom to the top of the network, the information entanglement increases. I have written earlier about the similarities of deep learning with holographic memories. However, sure I am going to make one step further. Deep learning networks are also tensor networks. Deep learning networks, however, are not as uniform as a uh, mirror network. However, they exhibit 
Similar tangent merge as information flows from input to output in either a fully connected network or a convolution network. The information are similarly tangled. The use of tensor networks has been studied recently by several researchers. Miles Dodermeyer wrote a blog post, Tensor Networks, putting quantum wave functions into machine learning, where he describes his method applied to MNIST and CIFA 10. He writes about one key idea about this approach. The key is dimensionality. Problems which are difficult to solve in low dimensional spaces become easier when lifted into a higher dimensional space. Think how much easier your day would be if you could freely move freely in the extra dimension we call time. Data points hopelessly intertwined in their native. Low dimensional form can become brilliantly separable when given the extra breathing room of more dimensions. Amna Shanshua have also done work in this space. Their latest paper, Tensorial Mixture Models, proposes a novel kind of convolution network. In conclusion, the holographic principle, although driven by quantum computations, reveals to us the existence of a universal computational mechanism that is capable of representing high dimensional problems using a relatively low number of model parameters. My conjecture here is that this is the same mechanism that permits deep learning to perform surprisingly well. Most explanations about deep learning revolve around the three 90s. Uh, that I described here, these are expressivity, treatability, and generalization. There is a definite consensus in expressibility. That is of a hierarchical network requiring less parameters than a shallow network. The open questions, however, are that of treatability and generalization. The big difficulty in explaining away these two is that they don't fit in any conventional machine learning notion. Trainability should be possible in a high dimensional non convex space, however, simple SGD seems to work exceedingly well. Generalization does not make any sense without the continuous manifold, yet, GANs show quite impressive generalizations. The above figure shows the stack gun generating in a text description. It put images in two stages. For the stack gun, there are two generative networks, and it is difficult to comprehend how the second generator captures all image refinement. There are plenty of unexplained phenomena like this. The holographic principle provides a base camp to a plausible explanation. The current mainstream intuition of why deep learning works so well is that there exists a very thin manifold in high dimensional space that can represent the natural phenomena that did this train mode learning proceed through the discovery of this thin manifold. This intuition, however, breaks apart considering the recent experimental data. The authors of the recent key generation provide Able optimization random rebels remains easy. In fact, training time increases only by a small constant factor compared with training on the true levels. Both the tag mark argument and the thin manifold argument can possibly work with random data. This shows only to the hypothesis that there should exist an entirely different mechanism that is reducing the degrees of freedom. So the computation is feasible. This compression mechanism exists can be found in the structure of the DL network, such like it exists in the Bell tensor network. Conventional machine learning thinking is that it is the intrinsic manifold structure of the data that it needs to be discovered via optimization. In contrast, my conjecture claims that the data is less important, rather it is the topology of the DL network. That in that is able to capture the essence of the data. That is, if, even if the bottom layers have random initializations, it is likely that the network should work well enough subject to learned mapping at the top layer.
In fact, I would even make a bigger leap in that there are quests for unsupervised learning. We may have already overlooked the fact that a neural network has already created its own representation of the data and also the random utilization. It is just our inability to interpret the representation that is problematic. A random representation that preserves invariances may just be as good as any other representation. Yam cake might already be represented that it is just the icing and cherry that needs to explain what the cake represents. Not to read the in 1991 psychologist Carl Pripham with physicist David Bond has speculated about holographic brain theory. I don't know the concrete relation between the brain and deep learning, so I can't make the same conclusion that they made in 1991. I leave you with one quote from Dimis Hasabis of Deep Mind. I believe that one day, information will come to be viewed as being as fundamental as energy and matter. So, brain, AI, blacker, are safe.